Hello everyone, welcome to another IT Career Talk with Professionals. And today we have a very unique guest because of her very <laughs> long title, which is a Business Analyst Team Lead slash Technical Project Manager. So our guest is Miss Jessie May Likot. Hi Miss Jess, can you say hi to our audience? Hello, um, good evening everyone. Um... Hi Rafi, thanks for inviting me um, to to this interview. Um, I hope that I can impart some knowledge and I can, you know, inspire, um, as you say, um, you know, professionals in IT that are still starting and even the ones that are already, you know, successful and um, yeah, just sharing my story basically. Right, right. <laughs> So let's uh, get into our first question, uh, where we, we always open mm-hmm. for our audience to understand what your role is. Can you describe mm-hmm. for us yes. the very long role? No, you HR niyo siguro ang haba-haba ng sinulat. <laughs> no, there's a, a story behind that very mm. l- long title, no? Because um, my, my my role is a business analyst team lead, and at the same time, I'm also a technical project manager. So originally. Um, ang role ko talaga is a business analyst. And, um, a two years ago, they made me a team lead because um, they've hired um, some junior business analysts and some senior business analysts under me for mentoring. So I mentored them and I managed their workload. And um, because every time we start a new project in our company, because we always start with a tender process, so when we go for a tender or a, a proposal, they would always involve me mm-hmm. to plan what are our, you know, our features, our unique or our best selling features. For example, what's our selling unique selling point, and from there, um, you know, the designs of the of the application or of the service that we wanted to propose. Um, ako na yon as a business analyst, but when we get the tender and get the the budget for the project, I would actually um deploy a business analyst that's under me with my guidance. Of course, we start how would we proceed with the you know because we already have initial requirements based on the proposal. So because that was my original thinking, so I would think about uh, I would think about the features before in the tender. So. I would have to, you know, pass that over to the business analyst, and we would regroup from there together with our solution architect and our program manager. Basically, the technical project manager role is because I'm. It's a transition. This actually, this time, for me, it's a transition. So, I need to. Yes, I need to let, let go of the business analyst role and transition into a technical project manager role. And I'm ready to let go of that. It's just that they don't want to let go of me <laughs> um, doing the mentor. So they they feel like um, there will be a gap if I if I lose that role. So I need to be in this hybrid position for a while first before we we actually upskill the business analysts that are working under me. So medyo hybrid yung role ko, and at the same time because. I've been in the company for eight years now, so um, I kind of um, do the uh, be you know the subject matter experts mm. um, when when they come to me for example for new projects for uh, for these new proposals for example they would ask me oh, how 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 have you done this before and all those kind of things and how do you think we can move forward with this and we have this brand new um brand new system that we have to develop for example or if we have a transformation project so it's that's the kind of um contribution that i provide to the team so yeah major jack of all trades <laughs> yung role right. Right, right. Yes. and a uh, very quick answer lang no um syempre magtatanong yung ibang ano since dalawang role mo dalawa din ba yung sweldo mo ganun yun no? <laughs> How I wish, no? <laughs> yun yung lagi ko sinasabi sa boss ko, eh, no? <laughs> Say ko, um, actually, three. Three hats, no? Kasi meron pa yung, ano, sa strategy side of things, di ba? Kung paano kami makakawin ng more projects, sabi ko. So, ano ba talaga yung gusto niyong balak na gawin sa akin? So, ganun-ganun. Pero, 
yun, hindi hindi naman twice yung <laughs> sweldo. But I, I, I still can manage, but um, the plan is really to get out of the business analyst role. So ngayon medyo high level na yung pagiging business analyst ko. Although, if ma, the team that's under me still needs my, um, you know, my guidance and my you know, two cents, I would gladly offer it. So ako pa rin yung nagsastart part of the tender. Ako pa rin talaga yung nagsistart. So, I would map the, like, high-level user stories for them, you know. Um, and then, they would they would supply. And then, parang may consultation lang, kumbaga, with me now. So, medyo nag, nag-transition na ako doon and more into the, the technical project manager role. Nice, yes. right. Pero, um, nung, nung tinatransition nila ako dyan sa technical project manager role, ang gusto ko talaga is a to be a product owner kasi parang para sa akin yun yung parang next progression level but because with the way our our company is um yung yung organization hindi kasi uh, we are a not for not for profit organization uh, we're not government but we are run we are run by education ministers and our project are usually coming from the government so from the federal um government so they how they operate to give us projects major waterfall so they give you know you have to um to to uh, um respond to their request for tender so and then if you win the proposal you get the project but with the, with that project you already have um a set of deliverables mm-hmm. a budget and timeline that doesn't move. So, pagdating sa ganong ano, medyo waterfall yung yung process nila. But for our team, the way we implement, the way we do our development, it's agile. So, medyo hindi nila ma-justify yung purely agile um, structure with having a product owner. Mm-hmm. Like, so, so, that's why ano pa rin kami. Pag sa tender, technical project manager pa rin yung, yung parang role. So, Nung tinatransition nila ako doon, sa ko, hindi ba pwedeng gawan na ano, ako yung una-unang product, magiging product owner sa company, di ba? But they, they, my my bosses told me that as a technical project manager, you actually have the the freedom to to do whatever you want, what role you wanted to to play in the team as long as you know you, you know you handle the team you know you need to deliver a project with this timeline and budget it's right. how what what hat do you want to 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 wear and where do you think you would contribute the most so kasi ayoko din talaga parang i'm happy to be part of the solution as a business analyst you always think of the solution how you would you know what kind of features would you think you would solve this problem for example so sabi nila, you have the freedom to do that if you want to still be hands on with the analysis part ayun pwede kang pwede kang umintad doon pwede kang mangulit ganyan so yun yun yung sabi nila sa akin right. which i still do. i can't help myself but yeah <laughs> oh, 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 no. um so Uh, as you mentioned, no, um, parang you have the freedom to be quite mm-hmm. hands-on or uh, analysis. Parang ano? In in that sense, parang uh, the, you're the delivery manager, the the business analyst, and potentially parang product owner as one, no? Parang a uh, whole package, na no? mm-hmm. and, and 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 because you manage people, how how would you dis- define your management style? Ah, uh, ano ko, um, I'm collaborative. So, lagi kong sinasabi sa team ko, I'm not the smartest um, person here in the room. So, as an analyst, sinasabi ko din yun sa ano, business analyst ko, we we try to be so thorough and we try to be detail-oriented. So, inisip na namin lahat, but we will never get it right for the first time. So, sinasabi ko yun sa developers, yes, this is a very detailed functional specs, but please read it. Please tell us what you think we've missed kasi hindi naman lahat makukuha namin on the get-go. So, hindi kami clairvoyant. Hindi rin namin, hindi kami, um, yung foresight namin, um, it's as much as we know. We can write as, as how, how far as we know, right? So, sabi ko sa nila, 
magtutulungan tayo. So this is a safe safe space for us. Mahilig akong mag, mag ano, ng brainstorm sessions, ng workshops, not just with um, stakeholders, but with also with the developers and the leads and our solution architects. So hindi siya parang kung developer ka, developer ka lang, magko-code ka lang. Sinasabi ko sa kanila na you're, we are part of this team. We have this um, goal to deliver this project on time. We have parang binibigay ko rin yung ownership sa kanila na isipin natin what's the best possible solution kumbaga sa problem na to what's the best possible service that we can give right. for for our clients parang ganun yung ano ko so if i need to if i need to test i will test as well so kung kunyari yung mga testers namin kasi mahirap din para sa kanila lalo na this project that i'm managing right now it's very technical so sa simula yung conversation very technical Um, with um, with the tech leads, with the developers, and with the with the solution architect, medyo nawawala sila. So when it comes to testing time, explain ko ulit sa nila, and then ipapakita ko, this is how you test. Because it's mostly what we develop our backend, like APIs. So wala masyadong user interface. Ganyan. So magtetest din talaga ako sa API. Kasi na-explain ko din kung ano yung... Uh, nasa fields na ma, sa Jason ko nga ganyan. So, parang kung, kung kung ano yung hindi kayang, kung ano yung gap sa team, if I can supply it with my own time, I would. But if not, then I would actually tap other other people. Sabi ko, if do we, I need this kind of skill, we don't have it right now. And maghahanap kami if I, it's either internal or external for for example a contract or ganun. So my management style is like that. It's more open. Even our in sprint planning parang pero tinitingnan ko pa din hindi naman kung ano lang yung sasabihin nila. Yun lang din yung gagawin ko kung yari pag sa pag sa sprint planning parang nakita ko na kung ano yung velocity ng team. Ito talaga ito yung kunwari ya. Yeah. 80, 80, around 80 story points yung nagagawa nila in a, uh, like a month-long sprint, kumbaga, ganyan. So, i-estimate ko din na, sige, papag-estimatein ko kayo, ito, mag, ito, yung, ito yung sprint planning natin. Pero alam ko na rin kung ano yung capacity ng team at alam ko kung, kung sino pa yung mas-squeeze, sino yung hindi, yung mga ganun. Pero yun, yun yung ano ko, <laughs> management style ko. Yeah. Right, right. No, and uh, I guess very interesting. Nang sinabi mo na, you know, who can be still be extended or squeeze more? Um, it's because mm-hmm. of your background, no. Um, given that um, at one point, I think you we were also a developer and another an, 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 yes. analyst, no. So going to your background, no, maybe we can uh, <laughs> start there. How did you? How did you enter the IT field, no? Or just give us your highlights, ba? Parang um, even especially dito sa ating youth is uh, paano ka paano mo pinili yung IT career? Hindi ko pinili yung IT career. Oh, so, that, that's a yes. good, good, ano, good insight, no? So kung hindi mo pinili yung IT career, sino pumili yes. para sa you or ano nangyari doon? No? Yes. Um. Gusto, ma, bata pa lang ako, gusto ko maging cashier. <laughs> I'm fascinated by this. Okay. Yes, so, when um, high school, no, um, lahat kami gusto makapasa ng UP. So, yun talaga yung parang ultimate university goal. Ang pinili kong course is um, business administration and accountancy. So, kasi gusto ako gusto ko maging cashier feeling ko yon gusto so, i i love i love numbers i love maths right. Right. um parang parang madali siya for me yung hindi ako yung super brilliant sa math pero yung pa, parang nung high school effortless sa math i don't need to study for it um and then i get good grades so yun sabi ko accountancy b business administration and accountancy pero quota for siya sa UP Diliman. So, I need a backup plan para lang makapasok ng UP. So, nag-BS math ako kasi mm. like, oh, pwede, pwede naman yun. Tapos, kung maganda yung grades ko sa BS math and I can shift to um, BAA um, noon. So, 
So, yun, pumasa ko sa UP, BS Math, hindi ako pumasa for BA. Akala ko madali ang <laughs> nung college na, pero hirap na hirap ako. So, kung mag- magaling ako sa math ng high school, ah, bakit gano'n? <laughs> bakit nga ba? <laughs> ang hirap, ganyan. Pero, ayun, tapos hindi ako makashift, hindi ako makashift sa BAA, pero... Well, I was in in that course, in BS Math. Marami na yung mga, marami akong, may network kasi ako nung sumali ako ng org. Tapos kinakausap ko yung prof. So, kung, kung baga parang my dreams change from that from that point. No? Sabi ko, hindi ako makashift. So, ano nang gagawin ko while I'm here? Sa alam namang sayang yung course ko. So, doon ko na-discover na marami akong, maraming um, path. From BS Math, so maglo, pwede akong mag, um, parang close din siya sa industrial engineering eh. So may mga, paano noon, parang may kumakausap sa amin from um, graduates din, alumni, na nagpunta ng San Miguel. So mga ano sila, ano nga ba yung tawag to? Mga mga oper- sa operations sila, okay. parang ganoon. O- nag-optimize sila ng mga operations, ganoon. Tapos meron din na um, from actuarial. So, pwede akong mag-actorial science pathway. So, yung sa mga insurance, yung mga nag, nag-underwriting, tsaka mga actually mismo. So, meron, meron akong access sa kanila. Tapos, ang nagustuhan ko, based on sa mga course, sa mga subjects na kinuha namin nung college sa BS Math, yung actuarial path, yung you know, okay. theory of interest, investments, ganyan. So, sabi ko, ah, sige, ito yung, ito yung ipupursue ko. So, Pagka-graduate ng college, yun yung mga ina-applyan kong work sa insurance, right, right. sa insurance, ganyan. Hmm. Tapos, ano, may mga may mga alumni friends din kasi from the organization na sinasabi, maraming exams. So, 10 exams para makuha mo yung fellowship, para maging part ka na Toral Society of the Philippines, ganyan, ganyan. So, wow, 10 exams. Sig- oh, grabe. Uh, uh, yes, ganyan tao. 10 exams, tas Pero, kada exam na pinapasa mo, guaranteed promotion. Mm. Yun. So, parang talagang, ano mo, career progression mo apart from experience. But experience alone will not cut it. Sabi ko, sige, sige, try natin. Um, pero hindi ako nag-exam. Parang, kasi sinasabi nila, college ka palang mag-exam ka na. Pero hindi ako nag-exam. Tapos, nisip ko, sige, magtatry ako ng isang exam. Pero ang tagal... Parang natatagalan ako sa progression. Tapos, ang, ang initial um, position mo is really rank and file. No? Tapos, mababa yung sweldo. Tapos, ang Makati ka, eh, taga Novaliches ako. Sige ko, magkano yung pamasahe mabunta doon? Yung mga ganun-ganun, nagkakalkalit ako. Kasi, uh-huh. at the eldest, ganyan, sabi ko. Tapos, meron na akong um, batchmate na merong nag-recruit sa kanya uh, na maging, ano, programmer trainees sa so somewhere in our company in tapos by batch um parang 14 15 yung hinahanap nilang ano no trainees o oh, mag-exam tayo kasi para kaming ano noon eh para sabay-sabay kami nag-apply not knowing that competition pala namin yung isa't isa yung ganoon so ayun tapos sabay-sabay kami nag-apply tapos Sabay-sabay din kami pumasa kasi exam, parang um, logic exam siya. Tapos sabay-sabay din kami in-interview. Sabay-sabay din kami nagka-offer. Parang, ay, ang saya. Magkakasama tayo dito. Right, parang right, gano'n. right. Uh, parang batchmates oh, on, pa rin, no? Hanggang ano. Pa rin, ganyan. Oo, oh, oh, ganyan. Tapos kasi yung antagal din nung, ang dami kong ina-applyan pa rin. Kasi hindi, pa, hindi ako sure na pang IT ako kasi yung thesis ko nga na kailangan ng programming kasi kailangan ng forecasting. Pinagawa ko pa yung program, nagbayad na ako para may gawa ng program na ko. Although may subjects kami na programming, hindi talaga Parang hindi ko siya gusto. Wala akong interest, ganyan. Tapos, nung, yun nga, nung in-interview, sabi, anong, ano sa tingin mo yung strength mo? Parang, um, parang mag-debug? Parang hindi ko alam kung paano nila tinanong. Pero more on debugging skills, investigation, yun yata. Or yung, or it. parang ang sabi ko yata, I think I'll be more suitable investigating. Parang ganun yung problems. Tapos, mm-hmm. napunta ako sa Cobol Batch. 
Mm. So, batch kami ng COBOL programmers. Tapos, hindi ako, hindi ako komsay. So, hindi ko alam na ancient pala ang COBOL language. No? <laughs> uh-huh. so, pero yun, parang nag enjoy naman ako. Although, hirap na hirap ako. Kasi wala ako talaga programming background. Pero, marami kaming logic sa maths na subject. So, maraming, you know, mga proving, ganyan. So, nasusundan ko yung, ano, yung mga pseudocodes, ganyan. Nakakagawa ko. Ganyan. Tapos, yun, yung, yung sil- tinuruan nila kami mag-gobol, nag-gets ko naman. Kasi ko, okay, nag-gets ko to. Yung mga ganyan. So, ayun. Okay naman nung pagka-graduate. Tapos, na-floor kami. Tapos, ang, um, ang ano namin, ang project namin is, ah, uh, Northwest Airlines pa noon. Okay. So, sa SBI. Tapos sa accounting. So, medyo gets ko kasi accounting. Yes, yes. So. Para, ay, para, <laughs> something na I know. It's maths, ganyan. So, nag-enjoy ako. Pero parang iniisip ko na may nakikita ako sa, sa mga katim ko, no? Sa floor na parang 30, parang nasa 30 sila. Tapos nagpo-program sila. Sabi ko, parang ayaw ko na ano, na... <laughs> parang 21 lang ako nung 20, parang ayoko na ito pa rin yung gagawin ko for the next 10 years right, right, right. So, nagmasteral ako ng ng ano for for yung sa actuarial science nga, mm-hmm. pinurso ko siya so while nag-work ako sa programmer, nagmasteral ako nagmasteral ako, tapos lumipat ako sa sun life para nandun ako sa industry na gusto ko talaga sa insurance industry right. tapos sa sun sa nag nagtry ako mag-exam pero hindi ako pumasa dun yung sa for actuarial ganyan sabi ko hindi ata kaya ng brain cells ko tong sambong exam na to sa so, sun test sa sun life meron kami mga ano systems analyst, business analyst. So, sila yung nagbibigay ng mga um, text specs sa amin. So, mga parang requirements. Kung maga. Sabi ko, sir, paano kayo? Paano kayo naging systems analyst, business analyst? So, ini-interview ko na din sila. Kasi parang, mas gusto ko yung ginagawa nila kaysa yung ginagawa ko na nagkukod din. Right, <laughs> so, right, yun. Right. Tapos, from, from sa sun life, ano na kami? may analyst programmer na yung title ko. So, may konti ng analysis, hindi lang ako nagko-code. So, parang mm-hmm. kailangan ko naintindihin kung bakit ko kinu-code, kung bakit ko to ginagawa para saan, ano yung business requirements, ano ibig sabihin. Tapos, naintindihan ko yung ibig sabihin kasi insurance-related siya. So, tas, yun din yung minamasters ko. So, from there, sabi ko, ah, gusto kong maging yung ginagawa niya, sir, <laughs> yung, yung system sa analyst, business analyst, ganyan. Right. Tapos, ang inisip ko na magtatagal ako sa Sun Life. Sorry, mahaba na ba yung kwento ko? No, no, no. Go ahead, go ahead. No. Kasi yun yung gusto mo, di ba? Finance, nasa finance industry. Mm-hmm. Tapos, uh, uh, analyst. So, go ahead. So, akala mo magtatagal ka sa Sun Life? Oo. Kaso lang, yung boyfriend ko noon, mm-hmm. nagpunta siya ng Malaysia. So, Ay, yun pala yun. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tapos, ano, so LDR kami for ma- mga matagal din. Tapos, nung umuwi siya, nag-propose siya, so engaged na kami. Mm. Tapos, isip ko, parang ang pangit naman na engaged kami at as long distance relationship pa din kami. So, nag, nag, ano, naghanap ako ng work sa Malaysia. So, tamang nama naman, meron akong yung previous um, workmates from Sun Life na nag-Malaysia, nag-AIG sila. So, Binigay ko yung resume ko. Tapos, in-interview lang ako by the phone, ganyan. Tapos, natanggap ako kasi yung, yung um, um, system nila sa AIG, yun din yung system namin sa Sun Life. Nag-shift pala ako kasi from Cobol Mainframe, dun sa una kong work sa Sun Life, naging ano, Cobol Midrange. So, nawala na ako sa Mainframe. Pero Cobol pa din. Yes. Parang Unix, more Cobol Unix, ganyan. So, nag-aral din ako ng Unix scripts na naalala ko. Hindi ko na maalala ngayon. <laughs> Tapos yun. Tapos yung sa AIG, ganun din yung engine, yung system na gamit ng Sun Life. Hindi yung gamit nila. So, parang mas may premium kami. Kaya sila yung tumatawag sa amin. So, yun. Tinawagan nila ako. Tapos natanggap naman ako. So, ayan. Punta na din ako ng Malaysia. 
right, right. Ano lang sa Philippines eh, after graduating. Parang three and a half years na. Yeah. Uh-huh. Tapos nag-Malaysia na ako. Tapos sa AIG, mal- minalas kasi parang four months into, two years contract yun eh, yun ako, ako sa Malaysia. Four months into the two years contract, financial crisis. So, oh. nagtang, nag, <laughs> yes, nagtang, kontra kami. So, kami yung unang tatanggalin. Mm-hmm. G. Yes. So, with, ano naman, with severance pay. para may, may, may package pa naman silang binigay. Mm-hmm. Pero, sabi nung, nung fiancé ko, yung husband ko na ngayon, sabi niya, sabi ko kasi, ano yung, uuwi na lang na ako. Sign up na lang ako ulit. Tapos sabi niya, hindi, mag-stay ka na dito kasi pwede ka, may, may visa pa naman na ako. mag ka na lang ulit ng work dito. Sabi right. ko, okay. Yun, stay, stay, may ipon ka naman. Parang yun. So, kaya sige, stay muna tayo dito sa Malaysia. Kasi dito naman siya. Tapos, mag-hanap ako ng work. So, nakakuha ka ng work sa Prudential. So, financial pa rin. Insurance pa rin. Pero hindi na ko vote. So, ano na siya, Informix, ibang language, Informix 4G, na hindi ko alam na ibang language na yung hanap nila. Kasi naghahanap sila ng programmer, tapos may alam sa insurance. Tapos, nung interview nila ako, sinabi nila nila na ibang language. Tapos sabi nila sa akin, are you up for a challenge? Sabi ko, sa tingin ko kaya ko naman, parang gano'n sa ko. Parang, ako din naman kasi yung person na naghahanap ng challenge, parang, I get bored easily, sabi kong ganon. Right, so, right. And I know the business domain, sabi kong ganon. So, I think I can do it. Tapos yun. Pero, ano, sobrang steep learning curve kasi ibang language. So, ginagawa ko nung pumpasok ko na maaga para mag-aralin ko. Kasi binigyan nila ako, binigyan naman nila ako ng, walang nag-train sa akin, pero binigyan naman nila ako ng parang book, yeah. <laughs> handbook. or informix. Tapos, yun, may access naman ako sa mga ano, existing program. Kasi, it gets ko naman, parang C-sharp, parang gano'n yung itsura niya. Eh, yun naman yung parang tinuro nun sa amin nung sa university may konting C-sharp. So, naalala ko. Tapos, English-like, yun naman siya. So, tapos, mas madali siya i-code kasi hindi siya as structured as COBOL na kailangan may mga limang division, ganyan. So, naintindihan ko siya, na-pick up ko siya. Ang pinaka-challenge sa akin noon, kaya talagang nag-prosige ko kasi yung yung position na binigay sa akin is um, lead systems analyst. Mm. Lead systems analyst, hindi ko naman alam yung language. I could just go. Oh, oh. No, so talagang talaga yung mag-lead. So parang yun yung ano sa akin. So yun, nag, as in long hours, itaral ko siya. Tapos yun, okay naman. Parang nagtagal ako doon for two years. Tapos doon, doon talaga um, mas naging closer ako sa business. Mm-hmm. Parang yun yung sinasabi ko nga, that's the first time I learned to become a business analyst. Kasi um, nasa production support team ako eh. So, I'm, uh, lagi kami tinatawagan ng users. So, I'm close to the users. So, that's the first time I get to understand na yung ginagawa pala namin is for our users. It's right. for them to be able to use the system efficiently to deliver the service to the customers. Parang ganun. So, okay. dun mag-click. <laughs> yes. Yun, And hindi, knowledge. nakakatakot ba yun? Kasi nasa financial sector kayo, no? So, yung users nyo siguro galit na galit kasi pera yun. Yes, lagi. <laughs> laging ano, laging um, very stressful siya. Tapos laging ano, non-disclosure agreement. Laging pagka may nangyari, kahit na konting mistakes lang, it could have a financial impact, ganyan. So, pero na-instill sa akin yun na every, yung yung process sa finance, basically very rigid, no? There's a review process, there's very rigid QA, ganyan. Tapos kapag may production issue, It's very urgent. So, the um, service level agreement namin is just two hours. Wow. So, yun, nag, nag-production support ako nun, yung calls at yung ganyan. Tapos, yung, yung thinking on your feet, ganyan. Parang, paano, kailangan mo yung workaround. Tapos, um, yung decision-making din. 
ganyan. Tapos kung kailan mag-escalate, mga ganon. So yung mga skills na natutunan ko nun, nung nasa at sa lead systems analyst ng production, BAU support team kami nun. Yun. Tapos, ano siya, very long hours sa Malaysia. Tapos yung, med, um, dun, dun, dun nga ako na-expose sa culture ng um, Malaysian Chinese. No? Yung super, super, ano sila, super straight shooting. Parang ganon. Yung parang, very ano walang personalan pero ano right. professional pag galit sila sa galit sila sa alam alam mo that you did something wrong okay talagang din talaga yung sabi ko hindi dapat mangyari sa akin talaga sinisigaw ano kasi sa na maraming tao so ayun you no know, yung yung, yung, yung due, due diligence so kailangan talaga maingat ka ganyan as due diligence as ano din yun din yung unang practice ko to have a team na merong merong na team lead ako kumbaga kasi hindi ko yun nagawa nung sa Pilipinas parang sa Pilipinas I'm part of a team so I have someone to to look to look up to kumbaga so nung nasa ano ko prudential ako inaalala ko yung mga team lead ko nung sa life tsaka yung sa previous job ko kung ano yung traits na 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 gustuhan ko sa kanila as a developer right. so para yung emulate ko nung sa sa Malaysia, ganyan. Kasi may mga, ano kami, may mga, mga newly graduates, parang mga trainees din sa team na, ganyan, na ililid ko. Ganyan. So, yun, yun yung parang kung meron sa part ng career ko na parang turning point, yun yun, yung sa Malaysia. Kasi parang bagong role, tas bagong language. So, lahat sobrang, sobrang challenging na atmosphere. Pero, sa tingin ko, anda, ang dami ko talaga, ang dami ko natutunan doon. Tapos doon din yung talagang sobrang na ano yung resilience ko. <laughs> Kasi may homesickness, may ang dami yung factors. Right, right. Nagsagpa-plan ko ng wedding, mga ganyan. Pero yun, parang yun talaga yung parang nag-ano sa akin. Nag, kaya ko pala yung ganong challenge. Parang ano. Tapos yun, from Malaysia, yung husband ko lumipat ng Singapore. So lipat din ako. Sunod lang din ako sa Singapore. <laughs> Um, tas nag-work siya sa Citibank. Tapos naghahanap ako na ng kasi nga sa Malaysia doon ko na na realize na gusto ko yung close ako sa users. Right, yung, right, right. yung yung meron na akong ano direct communication with them, yung first hand na na communication na hindi ayoko lang nung tumatanggap ko ng spec. Tas gusto ko yung ano ba talaga yung problema niyo kasi baka may may ibang way to solve the problem. Parang yun yung nagustuhan. Kasi naghahanap ako ng BA role sa, sa Singapore. No? Mas may mga friends, may mga ano, ex-colleagues na nasa, na nasa Singapore na BA din sila. Mas, pero ang baba ng sweldo. <laughs> ang baba, ang baba, baba ng sweldo. Inisip ko, bakit ang baba ng sweldo ng BA dito? Tapos, nag-apply ako sa Citibank. Mm. Tapos, ang um, binigay parang tech ano technical role yung minibigay sa akin so magko-cobble magpo-program ulit ako sa cobble oh, pero okay. oo oh, pero ano systems um, analyst yung role systems analyst slash designer ganyan tapos akala ko hindi ako matatanggap sa interview feeling ko kasi na sobrang technical na hindi, parang five years out na ako ng cobble eh. mm-hmm. so tinanong nila ako kung kaya ko pa ba ulit mag-cobble program sa akin? Right, right. It's just like riding a bike. Hindi <laughs> parang ganun. Naalala ko ganun ako sa interview. Pero yung, yung concept kasi, yung investment, yung right, okay. alam na alam na alam ko siya. So, yeah, pag yun, may tanong yun, sila. Yun. Yung domain kasi, nasa iyo na, no? Yung parang financial Uh-oh. domain. You've been there for very long time. So, parang na, mm-hmm. na-fintech ka na talaga. Fintech, no? Mm-hmm. Yun. So, yun. So, mga ano din ako, two years sa uh, na as a system analyst sa sa Singapore, sa Citibank, sa parang mutual investment team nila. Tapos, hindi ako close sa user. Yun lang yung hindi ko, oh. ma- hindi ako happy. Pero, close ako sa business analyst. So, parang, nakik- parang nakikita ko yung process nila. Parang, tas ako rin yung tech na tinatanong nila kung possible ba to ganyan ganyan. Mm. Tapos sabi ko, gusto ko talaga maging business analyst. So parang sort of mini-mentor. Mini-mentor din ako ng mga business analyst. Tapos gusto nila nga 
kunin na nila ako sa team nila. Pero natanggap, nag, natanggap na kami for PR sa Australia. Ah, wow. So, oh, ba- bakit naman kayo nag, uh, you know, siguro one question yan, no? Is, was this was yes. immigration or moving to, uh, well, Australia ever since a goal that you guys had? Or parang ano? No. Um, yung actually, nung bago kami lumipat ng Singapore, nung married na kami noon, gusto ko na umuwi sa Pilipinas kasi ako, ako talaga, I don't have plans of working abroad. Para I see myself, you know, flourishing in the Philippines. Pero yung husband ko, he sees it the other way. Parang nung simula nung nag-work na siya sa Malaysia, hindi, hindi niya na para makita yung sarili niya na living in the Philippines. Tapos ako naman, ang point ko, kasi wala kaming, there's no, oh, hindi, sa sa Malaysia at sa Singapore mahirap maging permanent resident. Right, so we're right, always right. dependent on work visa sa employer. So parang hindi ko makaano yung stability na mga family dito tapos mm-hmm. pag may nangyari then we have to start over in the Philippines or elsewhere. So sabi ko <laughs> parang saka sobrang toxic ng work sa, sa city bang sabi ko hindi na talaga ako babalik it really is the city that never sleeps <laughs> so sabi ko hindi ako hindi ako magtatagal dito sa city so tiningnan tiningnan niya yung Australia and we had friends who um, emigrated here tapos pero hindi pa rin ako convinced kasi gusto ko pa rin umuwi sa Pilipinas kasi right, right. ano on prone ako sa homesickness. Nag-red eye flight kami para lang ma-fix yung homesickness ko. Uwi kami ng Pilipinas sa sabalik ko let go niya. So, sabi ko, hindi ko sure. Pero, nag, ang ginawa namin, nag-travel kami here sa, ano, sa Melbourne noon. So, nag-crash lang kami sa, sa apartment ng friends namin. Tapos, nagustuhan ko siya. Nagustuhan ko yung, yung parang, ang bagal maglakad ng mga tao. Parang mm. laid back parang relax sila. Hindi ka gaya sa Singapore ang bilis yung mga madali maglakad yung mga tao. Parang gano'n. Right, parang right. kiting ko. Tapos yung, yung friends namin, bago na din lang sila, pero masaya sila. Parang they feel secure with their job. Mm. As permanent resident na kasi sila nang dumating dito. So sabi nung halibang ko, why don't we try? Ganyan. Right. Na mag-update as a PR. So yun. So part of the reason why we moved to Singapore is we wanted to go to Australia. Yun yung goal namin. Tapos ang goal namin sa Singapore is mahabag-upon to prepare for um, migration nga dito sa Australia. Is that a normal thing na parang gagawing stepping stone ang Singapore uh, before Australia? Or hindi, hindi ba pwede parang from, let's say, Philippines or from Malaysia, diretso Australia? Mas mahirap ba yun? Um, sa amin, yun yung feel, uh, yun yung parang logical sa amin. Kasi we looked at the currency at that time. Mm. So, may, one, medyo one is to one si Singapore at saka si Australia. Ang alam kasi na, ang, ang talagang pinaghandaan namin is, we know that when we get here, wala kaming trabaho. So, we, oh, we need to save six months of our expenses here. Tapos, meron kaming hinuhulugang bahay sa Pilipinas. So, we have to prepare to pay for that too. So, parang, or ibenta. Di ba? Pwede ibenta yung may bahay na kayo na hindi gagamitin. Actually, binibenta. Binibenta na namin noon. Pero, ang, hindi mo alam. Hanggang ngayon nga, hindi pa namin mabenta. Oh. <laughs> Baka gusto mo bilhin. No? Joke. Atingnan natin. No? Kung depende na sa inyo. <laughs> yun. So, yun nga. Yun. So, Parang para sa amin, we didn't really look at the usual path. Yung friend namin mm-hmm. na, na, na pinantahan namin dito, ano, galing silang Malaysia. So, uh, I don't think na it matters. Kasi may, may, meron din naman akong colleagues ngayon, ka, mga friends na uh, straight from Philippines. So, I don't think it matters. For us, it's just uh, parang logical para sa aming right, dalawa right, na right. from to Singapore kasi nga kailangan namin talagang mag-ipon because we're preparing for at least ano at most at most but na six months na wala kaming work and to sustain yung responsibilities namin in our life here right, again. Right. And so yan mm-hmm. natanggap na kayo nasa Australia na kayo. Oh. 
Bakit yes. ka naman nag-shift to EdTech, no? From FinTech yes. to EdTech. Oh. Correct. Yes. Yeah. So, yan. Yeah. So, so, andito na kami. Nag-hire pa kami ng work. Three months na wala pa hang nakikita ang work. So, mahirap. Mahirap talaga mag-start um, from scratch. Barang, um, kahit na may ma- ma- mataas yung ma- almost 10 years of experience na rin right, yung right. pumunta kami dito in fintech. Yung mga ina-applyan ko, nasa f- financial talaga. Naka, na, na-interview ko, nakapunta na, naka, ano na ako, up to second round of interview. Tapos, ang alam ko, tanggap na ako. Sabi ng agent ko, tanggap na ako sa parang superannuation. Yun yung parang ano nila dito eh. Hmm, Provident Fund Company. Sorry, excuse me. Tapos, biglang nag-reorg sila. So, parang ano, roller coaster of emotion. Yun yung parang may, oh, may interview, the second interview, tapos mawala, yun, gano'n, gano'n. Tapos, um, three months into it, nirefer ako nung common, may common friend kami dito. Parang nirefer niya ako, they're looking for a tester daw. Ito, si Education Services Australia. They're looking for a tester. Sabi niya sa akin, ayusin mo yung resume mo na parang i-highlight mo na may experience ka for testing. Sabi ko, as, naturally, as a VA, I would, you would test. No? Right, Sometimes right. you do the user acceptance testing, ganyan. Mm. So, inayos ko yung resume ko, pinasa niya, tinawagan ako. Tapos, tin- ang, ang hinahalap pala nilang tester is accessible accessibility tester. So, someone who knows um, to to test according to the web content accessibility guideline here. Kasi, um, yung sa mga hindi nakakaalam, yun yung um, to test if the website or the web content is accessible enough for, um, you know, users with special needs. So, for example, um, sight impaired, deaf, ganyan. So, Ginagawa na katuwa kasi ginagawa pa pala nila yun dito. Na lahat ng content, lahat ng in- mga information website, they have to adhere to that guideline. So, nung in-interview ko, puro functional testing yung alam ko. Tapos mm-hmm. tinanong ako kung alam ko daw ba yung yung week nga. Say ko, oh, I don't know, but I have to, I can find out and I'm sure I can pick it up. Ganyan. So, lagi lang confident kahit na hindi ko alam. Pero ano pa rin, from phone interview, interview niya ako for face-to-face um, interview. Pero before nun, niresearch ko na ano yung, ano yung ginagawa ng mga wika tester, ganyan. Kung ano, ano ba talaga yung tinitest nila. So, niresearch ko na na kailangan um, kung ano yung accessible by mouse, accessible by keyboard, kailangan programmatically, uh, may labels, hindi lang... Um, Well, uh, hindi ka lang nag-rely na yung users more able to read. So, kaya may audio, um, may audio, um, ang tawag mo, yung captions din, yung mga gano'n. So, nung pag, pagpunta ko doon ng face-to-face interview, tapos nasasabi ko yung mga terms na gano'n, nagkulat siya kasi the day before, hindi ko alam, <laughs> hindi ko alam yung mga yun. So, right, right, right. Tapos, nagkulat siya, alam ko na, tapos na, na-apply ko siya sa mga dati kong ginawa as a BA, as a tester na ito pala yun. So, parang na, na, na-impress siya na at overnight, nalaman ko na yun. Tapos alam ko kung paano ko siya explain. Tapos alam ko kung paano ko siya explain sa mga dati ko nagawa na. So, sabi niya, parang they were thinking of hiring the previous guy who interviewed for the same role. Pero nagulat, nagulat siya na impressions where I did make it hard for them to decide. Parang gano'n. Tapos yung in the end, ako yung inoferan uh, nila yung uh, <laughs> tester role. Pero uh, three months contract lang siya. So I was just thinking, kasi nung nag apply ako, they were looking for local experience. Uh, I was thinking, oh, stepping stone lang ako, local experience. So balik, babalik ulit ako sa finance. Parang gano'n. Pero ayun, Parang three months into, ay parang sa so three months na yun, parang napakadali nung ginagawa ko. Hindi, hindi siya kasing, you know, uh, mind-boggling na pagiging BA. Tapos parang, pero alam kasi niya na BA ako. Alam nung hiring manager na BA ako. So, nung matatapos na yung contract ko, 
parang ginawa niya, no? nilaku niya yung, <laughs> nilaku niya yung resume ko. Binenta niya ako sa ibang team ko. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. Tapos, nasa BA, ganyan, parang, nung sinabi daw niya dun sa director na, I'm a BA. So, they, they um, extended my contract. So, under pa rin ako dun sa hiring manager ko. I still do testing. But, I, I'm part-timing as a BA to another team. So, nag, nag-function. Parang, hindi nga BA, kasi hindi, hindi pa rin talaga ako yung kumakausap sa stakeholders. But, more of a technical writer. Parang ako yung pinapagawa nila ng um, business requirements document, right, right. ganyan. So, parang three days tester, two days BA. Parang ganun yung naging ano, extension ng contract ko um, for four months. Pero nung another extension, parang, parang try sa extend, na extend yung contract ko eh, sa Education Services of Australia. Gusto na nila ako may full-time. Right, full-time oh, there you go. Uh, BA. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oo. Kasi lang isip ko, babalik ba ako sa parang nag-enjoy ako sa testing. Mm-hmm. Hindi ako stress sa okay. testing. Parang um, I I can really work 9 to 5 and I can forget about work. Parang ganoon. Pero sabi nila sa akin, sayang ang sayang ng skills mo. You can be a good BA para sa business. Parang parang ayaw ko na ayaw ko na kasi ng stress. Parang that time, nagpa-plan na rin kami to start a family, parang yan. Correct. Tapos, parang, parang, as, parang ang sinabi lang nila is, we, we can guarantee that we can extend you for another, another months, another six months or so, if you'll just be a tester, parang yan. So, like, okay, I'll accept the BA position. Ganyan. So, tas technical, technical BA doon. Pero, contract pa din. So, up to, from December up to end of June lang. Tas, natuwa ako doon sa role kasi, parang, uy, nag sql na ulit ako. Parang, I can, parang pwede na akong may access na ulit ako sa database. I can, parang na-miss ko pala yung pagiging tech yung ganyan. Tapos, may kausap na ulit akong mga devs. Parang nag, nag-brainstorm na ulit kami. Tapos, sinasama na rin ako nung PM sa mga meetings with stakeholders. So, parang, gusto ko nga pala talaga maging BA. Na-miss ko nga pala to. Parang ganyan. Right. Tapos, yun. Tapos, um, nalaman ko na pregnant, pregnant na ako. Um, and it's, uh, hindi, ko, uh, hindi, hindi ko alam kung ano yung magiging Um, ano ng contract ko, kung paano magiging, kung ano ba extend ba nila ako ulit, or ano. Right, right. Uh-huh. Tapos, tas, tas may malaki ding restructure na mangyayari. Uh, so, ito na naman, restructure na naman. As, yes, uh-huh. yes. So, I'm, I'm just keeping it quiet na pregnant na ako. Parang maliit pa naman, parang mga 12 weeks pa lang ganun. I'm keeping it quiet. Tinitignan ko, pero nag apply na din ako sa, sa ibang company. Parang tinitignan ko lang yung options ko. Tapos, yung, yung PM na ka-work ko nun, uh, na, na let go siya. Oh, okay. Nung sa restructure. Tapos, ako, pinag-stay nila. Parang binigyan nila ako ng, as in, permanent. Permanent na, hindi na contract. Mm. Permanent PA position na. Tapos, natatas, natanggap din ako din sa isang, ano, uh, ina-applyan kong job. Pero dinikline ko na yun kasi, alam ko mag magma-maternity di ba po in a few months di ba so try ko al tatanggapin ko na lang din tong permanent role and let's see what happens kasi right, right. yung PM kinukuha niya ako gusto niya akong sumama sa kanya in sa bago niya yung job say ko sorry kasi hindi ako makakapag-commit dahil yun nga I'm I'm three months pregnant. Gaya sa ko, oh, I'm happy for you. Pero pagka tapos mo ng maternity, talk to me parang ganyan. Mm-hmm. Tapos yun na talaga ako. Tapos yun, tapos kin- permanent, tapos tuloy-tuloy yung project na technical. Um, tapos parang before ako ng maternity, I don't know what happened. Pero parang I was in that position na ako na lang yung natitirang may alam dun sa project parang gano'n kasi nawala yung PM, parang gano'n. So, parang they rely on, that's the start na 
para maging subject matter expert ako right. bigla. Uh, uh, so, <laughs> naging acting PM ka na, no? Um, in this oh, sense. Yun, no? yun. And, and from there, yes. basically, tuloy-tuloy na, um, parang basically, that's why dito ka tumagal and parang promotion and, and that's yes. why you are there now. Uh-huh. Yeah, so, nag-mat- nag-maternity leave ako for eight months. So, parang more than a year. Hindi ko alam kung ano yung babalikan kong team. Pero nung pagbalik ko, iba na yung PM. Pero buti naman, luckily, we, parang kasi ano siya, Asian din siya, so from Hong Kong. Parang naging parehas kami ng um, work ethics, so parang, parang parehas, parehas kami ng drive. So parang yun, siya, pa rin yung, siya na yung program manager ngayon, tapos siya, siya pa rin yung direct superior ko. Parang both kami from bumalik, sa ilan taon na ba yung daughter ko? Six years, so six, for six years now, parang partners kami. Kami yung nag-grow right, ng right. team namin ngayon. Uh, parang gan So, tas, kaya itong magal. Kasi nga, I used, I used to get bored. I used to always change them. Pero pagdating kasi dito, it's project. It's different projects. And sometimes multiple projects in a year. So, parang laging may bagong natututunan. May laging bagong, uy, bago to. Ah. Parang bagong challenge na naman. Ganyan. Pero the team that we work with is... Yun na yung core team namin. Para alam na namin yung strengths and weaknesses ng isa't isa. Alam na namin kung sino yung ma- pwedeng mag-rely on this one and this one yung parang right, right, right. Kaya, nagtagal. Hindi right, right. <laughs> ko uh, na mamala yung furniture na ako. Collecting <laughs> dust. <laughs> hindi, naman, hindi naman collecting dust. No? Parang ano lang. Naging subject matter expert na nga. No? And what I really hmm. like Uh, that I picked up from your story, no? Um, that our, I hope our audience also pick up is that when you make your resumes, sometimes you have to format it in a way na parang aligned dun sa position or sa company, no? So kung yung company na yan, more fintech, hindi dapat modify mo yung description ko, yes. highlight mo yung ano, no? uh, yes. finance part. Pag, pag ito yung position, ito yung company, align mo konti yung ano, no? Pero always stay, pero stay truthful. Yun lang. That's true. Yes. Truth parang hina highlight mo lang yung uh, hina highlight mo lang yung strengths kung depende sa kung ano yung kailangan nila right, na right. not saying that that's the only thing that you do kasi meron pang ibang facets about you parang ganon right, yun right. na sinasabi sabi ko kapag ka, hindi ko talaga alam yan pero I don't stop there parang hindi tapos yung sentence na oh but I don't know that kahit sa mga projects ngayon oh I don't know how to do that but I can find out and I can learn how to do that or I can research or I can ask somebody parang laging may kasunod hindi tapos sa idol right and so uh, last question lang tayo no kasi medyo mahaba sorry na. And, uh, okay lang okay <laughs> lang no? madami na lang ako nat- natutunan eh. and I hope na pick up din natin ng, od- ng audience natin yan pero last question lang i-combine ko lang tong dalawang question no parang basically yung um, you know quite successful yung journey mo and of course people want to know Um, how you how you define your own success and basically ano yung advice mo on to our to our audience no parang in, in summary parang how to be you po yun yung sinasabi na, uh, <laughs> nung nakita ko yan dun sa list of questions sabi ko na ko parang successful na ba ako parang ganun parang yun yung ano yung i feel In my own in my own perspective, I do feel success. I I do feel happy where I belong. And um, in hindsight, like looking back, sinabi ko na I don't wanna be a programmer for 10 years. Parang ayoko niya. Parang parang lahat naman ng visualize ko nang kung maachieve no for now. Parang nandun naman ako sa state na yon. Pero um, I think there's more. Parang right. I'm still, I, I still want to achieve. I feel like I'm still um, <clears throat> to be able to do more. Parang ganon. So, mm-hmm. in terms of success, I, I'm, con- I, I'm happy. I feel successful, successful where I am right now. But I'm still, I still want to. I, I feel like I'm still a work in progress. Right, right, so there's right. still more to do. There's still more to learn. So I'm still looking forward to the more. Parang yan. Yun. Um, how do you do? Yung advice mo for, for the people? Yung advice ko, 
yun, yun I think um parang know thyself know know your capabilities so you should be the one uh, you should be the the first advocate of yourself you should, parang you know how to sell yourself then parang don't sell yourself short parang if you know your capabilities and you know your limits you should be able to you know accept the challenges that that come your way and um don't be afraid parang sabi ko nga um even though i'm a technical project manager and a team lead sinasabi ko sa team ko na actually i'm not your boss I, you're my bosses so i i need to be of service to you so there's no task beneath me or there's no task above me para maganda yan pag- no task beneath me parang dapat may ganun ng mentality nga tayo lahat na no? parang mm-hmm. very and also very startup friendly ang uh, mentality na yan uh-huh. mm-hmm. yun kasi parang we have to we have to stick to our goal diba yung common goal niyo parang lagi ko sinasabi like, kaya pag pag uh, meeting all lagi akong ma- makwento parang cause I want everybody to be in the same page hindi lang yung vision ko vision ko lang parang so ko i-share ito yung dapat nating ma-achieve parang ano sa tingin mo how do you, how do you achieve this Tas, parang hahanapin ko kung ano yung ano ba yung kailangan niyo kailangan niyo bang tumawag ako sa ICT para mag-follow up gawin ko para para lang magawa niyo yung trabaho niyo para lang tapos there's no task above you then pag sinabi ko niyan ito yung job description as may pinapagawa sa yung iba yung boss mo na sitting in above above your pay pay grade yung una mong tanong dalawa ba yung sweldo ko pero inis <laughs> parang there's no way parang there's no other proof that you can do the job na ha, unless nakikita nilang ginagawa so i would i would I won't be given this technical project or I won't be transitioning to a technical project manager role if they didn't know that I can I can actually do this and I have proof that I was actually able to do this because I was able to do project management you know assistance para nag nag nagga-gantsa ako nag nagspa-planning ako kasi marami nang ginagawa yung boss ko eh, program manager na siya we, we handle multiple projects so I have to step up to do this and because I did that They know that I can do this role. Kumbaga. Parang that's why there's no task beneath you, there's no task above you. So just say yes, say don't stop at I don't know. Yun. Yun, yun siguro yung mga advice ko. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much no. And um audience, I hope you like that journey story no. Yung, yes. Ma- I madami hope ako so. in- ako personally madami ako insights na kuha and I hope you guys did also. If may further questions or comments kayo of course if you're listening uh, if you're watching on youtube you can always leave it in the comment in facebook you can also comment if you're on podcast i think the podcast may message me uh, so we can also uh, follow up on that no? and that's it thank you so much miss jesse thank you rafi thank you for giving me the opportunity to tell my story and you know to have a platform Actually, it's nice to talk about yourself. <laughs> Ngayon ko lang na na realize kasi nahihiya ako. Pero parang pag parang ngayon lang ako din nag-look back kung ano yung nangyari um throughout my journey. So, yun. Yeah. Right. Something to be proud of. You make me feel <laughs> so, proud. Um may may natutunan yung mga nakikinig. <laughs> Right. And I hope there's more women in tech also, no? Um, that they, uh, if yes, they yes, story, that they yes. can pursue um, the IT field as well. Yes. Um, actually, the yung sa team ko ngayon, um, sir, eight years ago, ako lang yung magisang um, babae. Tapos sabi, lagi ako nang sabi na sabi doon sa, sa boss ko niya, can we hire more women please? There surely is some women here in IT. So ngayon, ang dami na namin. So meron na kaming girl squad sa team. Kasi right. meron ng texters na babae, may yung BAs ko, tatlo sila, puro sila babae. May, may tech lead din kami na babae. So it's like a balance. Hindi naman din puro-puro babae. Parang a balance din. Kasi yun, balance perspective. Okay. All right. Thank you so much and audience. Uh, bye audience. <laughs>
Bye, audience. Thanks, Rafi. And of course, if you like our content, guys, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and notification bell.